Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. How can I clean my mind from years of accumulated bad thoughts? That's good. That's a good question. Now, you have the will that Allah has given to you. That will, that irada, Allah did not give to the angels. He did not give to the animals. Only to man. Because man is representing Allah. If you understand that you are representing Allah, and that Allah has given you a will, and that Allah is saying, put your will with my will, together with my will. That time you are representing me. That time you are loved by me, that time you will be my Khalifa. We accepting that? We understanding that? Yes, we are. If the man is, uh, his mind is correct. Now, that will, Allah has put the spirit and the ego together in this world. Now if the spirit is going to give the power, if it's going to give, give it up to the ego, then the ego is going to grab that power, that will, and is going to use it in the way of nafs, in the way of shaitan. It is still the power, it is still the will. But the spirit now must fight back. You are your spirit. You are not your nafs. That will now, you still have it. The spirit still has it. So this is the time that tariqats are teaching us the jihad al-akbar, the greatest jihad, the greatest struggle. And to use that will now to take it from the hands of the ego and to step on the ego. Not to give in, not to give up. Meaning now, there is work, there is effort. It is not just with some dua that you're going to make. It is not just reading the Quran. It is not just making some zikr that you are making. Now you have to put a will down. We see so many people praying reading Quran, making zikr, but they're still the most angry, the most stubborn, the most jealous, the most upset people, the most envious people, the most angry people in the world, isn't it? Why does that happen? Because they're not using their will. They're giving up their will to the ego, to use. So when someone he has found uh, out by himself, okay, I am dirty and I need to clean myself. He's going to find ways to clean himself. He's going to find someone to tell him how to clean himself. If he's sick, he's going to find a doctor. And the doctor will say, you are sick, you are sick because you are smoking. To get better now, you have to stop smoking. But that one is going to say, I like smoking. It makes me happy when I smoke. And it's very difficult for me to stop. I try so many times, I cannot stop. Doctor says, I cannot do much for you. Because now the power, that irada, that will is in your hands, not in mine. I cannot force you. This is what separates us from angels and animals. And if you use that will, you say, I'm going to stop smoking. Yes, you are going to suffer. The body is going to get sick even in the beginning. But it's going to heal itself. Meaning that that time when you use your will, it is not going to be such an easy time for you in the beginning. 
It is going to be difficult. There will be difficulty. But Allah is promising every, after every difficulty, there is ease. After every difficulty, there is ease. The river that is flowing into the ocean is going to make so much noise because it's moving towards its source. So much noise is making, but once it reaches to the ocean, it disappears. The rocket that is going to move up from this world is moving up, it's fighting against the gravity, it's pulling it down. So much gravity, so much fighting, so much fuel and power it needs. But once it reaches up to a certain atmosphere, the gravity is no longer holding it and it just floats easily. It will submit. So in the beginning, it is going to be difficult. But after that, it's going to be easy. But you have to see a doctor. You have to take his medicine. And you have to be around a people who will tell you, who will help you. Don't be spoiled now that time when you're around people who are helping you. And you're understanding that they're helping you. But you're saying, I feel really bad still. I'm not feeling good. We're going to say, you've been smoking all these years. You want to stop and we're giving you medication to stop. And because you've been abusing your body all this time and your body is addicted to it and is going to um, rebel against you, you're going to get sick a little bit, but you know you're getting better and you're blaming us. How foolish you are. So, how are you going to get rid of bad thoughts? Number one, you are going to pull yourselves out from situations and from people that gives you the bad thoughts. And you're going to learn how to have good thoughts. You're going to put your will on it. But in order to put the will there, you have to be around people that you know. How do they put their will to stop the bad thoughts? Bad thoughts is everyone has collected it. Everyone has bad thoughts coming to them. Shaitan is always attacking us, isn't it? The nafs is always attacking us. But there are situations and there are groups. There are places where Shaitan and the ego is not going to attack so easily and so strongly. So the more we pull ourselves to those conditions, then the easier we will know how to get rid of those bad thoughts. Then we will know once we get rid of these bad thoughts, good thoughts are going to come, more ease and more light is going to come. Sometimes more shaitan is going to attack you once that happens. Yes, that time is not good for you to give it up and just go with shaitan. You're going to lose everything then. If you do that, you're going to lose a lot. Don't think you're going to lose a lot and it's not going to affect you. Everyone has to pay a price. And in these holy days and nights, Allah is telling us, this is how you are going to free yourself from those debts. This is how you're going to free yourself from those prices that you have to pay. Seek my forgiveness. Clean up the mess that you have done with each other. In that time, you'll be able to get rid of so many bad habits. Not only bad thoughts, but bad intentions. But everything will be easy for you. But if you're not moving to ask forgiveness from Allah, you're not moving to ask forgiveness from each other, you're not moving to understand why these bad thoughts are happening. When did it happen? Why do I have this? If you're not blaming yourself and you're not stepping on your ego, then you will not find a way out, escaping from these bad thoughts. Inshallah. There are so many other kinds of bad thoughts, but we're speaking generally. Now, I think you're getting what I'm trying to say to you. Inshallah, it'll be easy. Don't forget, be in association, be in sohbet, be in jamaat, and ask prayers for those ones who can pray for you. Uh, don't pull yourself out. Shaitan wants you to pull yourself out. Because 
no matter how strong you are, if you pull yourself out from the group, you're going to be weak. And that time, the shaitan can easily knock you down. So, be intelligent. Those who want to listen, they listen. Those who don't want to listen, like I said, the price is still there. The debt is still there. You still have to pay. You can run away from it. You can hide. You can escape. But it's going to come back to you again. So, be intelligent. Inshallah, Rahman. With the intelligence comes the faith. And it comes the higher. Assalamu alaikum.